بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم today I'm going to talk about a very serious topic that is environmental issues in Pakistan so what sort of environmental issues are there in Pakistan we can see issues like air pollution water pollution noise pollution climate change pesticide misuse soil erosion natural disasters and desertification. These all are serious environmental problems that Pakistan is facing and they are getting worse day by day. As the population is increasing rapidly and abundant efforts towards economic stabilization and fighting terrorism are seen, there is a little being done in terms of environmental preservation. Now, let's discuss some of these issues mentioned above. First of all, there is air pollution. Now, if you talk about pollution, the World Bank report in 2013 stated that Pakistan's top environmental issues include air pollution, inadequate supply of uncontaminated drinking water, that is, clean water, noise pollution and the health deterioration of urban and rural population due to pollution. These environmental concerns are not only for the citizens but also pose a serious threat to country's economy. Increasing industrialization, urbanization and motorization will worsen the problem. Now, air pollution. The growing environmental problem in major cities of Pakistan. According to World Bank report, Karachi's urban air pollution is among the most severe in the world and it engenders significant damages to human health and the economy. The greatest contributor to, our, to air pollution is industrial activity. The inadequate air emission treatments and lack of regularity control over industrial activity has contributed to the deterioration of ambient air quality in the major cities. In addition, the common practice of burning massive amounts of solid waste including plastic and rubber on the street corners by the public releases toxic gases which contribute in polluting the air. The inefficient use of energy and increase in the number of vehicles used daily increase in unregulated industrial emissions and the burning of garbage and plastic have contributed the most to air pollution in urban areas. According to a recent study, the Sindh Environment Protection Department claims that the average level of pollution in big cities is approximately four times higher in the World Health Organization's limit. These emissions have serious effects including respiratory disease, reduced visibility, loss of vegetation and an effect on the growth of plants. Water pollution. According to World Bank, Pakistan is a water stressed nation after the Indus Water Treaty in 1960, Ravi and Sutlej were diverted in upstream India and their consumptive use was awarded to India. On the other hand, Indus, Jhelum and Chenab are the only rivers that supply water through a network of canals throughout the agricultural plains of Punjab and Sindh. Now the rest of the country has very little access fresh water. The scarcity of water not only threatens the economy but also the lives of millions of Pakistanis. On the other hand, water pollution generation is increasing and it is increasing largely due to growing economy and population and an almost complete lack of water treatment. The sources of water pollution include overuse of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. 
the dumping of industrial effluent into lakes and rivers, untreated sewage being dumped into rivers and the ocean, and contaminated pipelines being used for transport of water. The contamination of fresh drinking water makes it harder for people to find clean water supplies and increases the prevalence of waterborne diseases. As a consequence, most of the reported health problems are directly or indirectly due to polluted water. Now, 45% of infant deaths are due to diarrhea and 60% to overall waterborne diseases. Noise pollution. The big cities of Pakistan, like Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, and Rawalpindi, face the issue of noise pollution. The main source of this pollution, as we all know, is traffic noise caused by buses, cars, trucks, rickshaws, and motorbikes. A study shows that on one of the Karachi's main roads, the average noise level was around 90 decibels and was capable of reaching 110 decibels. Now we all should consider the standard noise level given by the ISO is 70 decibels. So the noise level is much higher in Karachi as compared to the standard noise level. In fact, it is also higher than our national environment quality standards, that is 85 decibels, which is set by Environmental Protection Agency. This high level of noise can cause auditory and non-auditory health issues. Auditory issues include loss of auditory cells, commonly known as hearing loss, and non-auditory issues include sleep, disturbance, cardiovascular diseases, psychiatric disorders, etc. In Pakistan, there are very few laws and policies regarding noise levels but there is no accountability. No action is taken by environmental protection agencies and complaints about noise pollution by the public. Let's talk about climate change. As we all know, global warming and climate change is affecting the whole world. And it also is expected to cause wide-reaching effects on Pakistan. These effects include increased heat and other extreme weather conditions and droughts in some parts of the country. The melting of glaciers in Himalayas threaten the volumetric flow rate of most important rivers of Pakistan. The climate of Pakistan has become increasingly volatile over the past several decades and this trend is expected to continue. Pakistan makes a tiny contribution to greenhouse gas emissions, less than 1% to be precise, and it is among the lowest, but Pakistan is among the countries most vulnerable to climate change, and it has a very low technical and financial capacity to adapt to its adverse impacts. What are some conservation efforts which were taken by the government or provincial governments of Pakistan? A billion tree tsunami which was launched in 2014 by the KPK government as a response to global warming challenge. In billion tree tsunami, 350,000 hectares of forest and degraded land was restored. Now, National Conservation Strategy. National Conservation Strategy had three explicit objectives. Number one, the conservation of natural resources. Number two, promotion of sustainable development. And number three, the improvement of efficiency in use and management of resources. The Clean Green Program of Pakistan. It was an initiative launched by the government of Pakistan in 2019. The idea was to hold a competition between cities of Pakistan in greenery and cleanliness. 
a web portal was also launched in which citizens of Pakistan earned points for different activities and the, and the citizens were rewarded on the basis of these points. Now, although these efforts are praiseworthy, but they are still not enough to cope with these environmental issues. So that's all from my side and uh, thank you very much.